What's up guys, Brian Phobos here. Today we are gonna ask, what is your data worth? More and more I'm seeing a lot of these crypto companies in the name of know your customer related information, they're requiring people to submit that type of information for airdrops and other related events. Let's say blockchain.com or blockchain.info is what it was used to be called, is participating in this 125 million dollar airdrop of stellar now if you get further into this you'll actually have to do full kyc and it kind of does this it says this is just the beginning by verifying your identity you will be automatically entered into additional giveaways if you get far enough into this it actually wants you to take selfies and all kinds of other stuff and submit government issued id and Essentially, I feel that this is, you know, data farming, and all that data is worth $25. So uh, you'll get $25 worth of Stellar. Is that worth it to you guys? What about this airdrop? Energy airdrop. Now, energy is the 180th, you know, biggest cryptocurrency by market cap. But basically, you'll get 100 energy tokens uh, for completing basically all this KYC um, they want to do and then you have to complete social tasks and all this other stuff to get the hundred tokens and they want you to do the whole thing of um, selfies and government issued ID and this full KYC and to me I honestly think this is a bigger and bigger risk of these different crypto projects basically having people do that and now that the exchanges let's say Coinbase, Kraken, you know, like kind of all those kind of exchanges have had to start to start doing ramped up KYC for like U.S. customers. Now suddenly these random projects are just kind of adding that into the thing of like, well, we just want to make sure that you know only one person is able to get one airdrop and they're not gaming the system, so on and so forth. Um, I honestly think that it is a big threat, just kind of on the whole space that people are becoming more accustomed to this and giving away all this information for $100 or $25 and that. And, you know, it's it's kind of upsetting to see this more and more. Um, and I'm just seeing kind of people sort of act like, oh, yeah, you know, that's just, that's just kind of what you do or something. And, you know, and you're, you're talking, you're listening to a guy who, for instance, won't install Facebook on a phone that is connected to the cellular network and have like real information, birth dates, that kind of stuff. And people always thought I was paranoid a couple years ago and then now it's come out that Facebook continues to get hacked and all this data ends up getting, you know, mined and sold off or whatever. Um, you know, so I've always been kind of aware of the fact that you know, the more information you put out there, the easily, more easily you can be reverse engineered on all that stuff. So I just see this being a big threat to the crypto space. And to tell you the truth, when I look at a project like this, and that's the way they're like organizing their airdrop, um, to me, it's just is garbage to me. And yeah, I can understand a hundred of those tokens, you know, and somebody could say, well, you know, it's worth $113 right now. Um, you know, that's not bad. Well, it's not bad until, you know, you're getting your identity stolen or you got all your information out there and, um, you know, some hacker halfway across the world is opening up credit cards in your name or something. Um, so it's just personally, I just don't feel like these are worth it. I've kind of spoken out against this, but to me, I just think that it's, you know, data mining, personal data mining in the name of you know, know your customer, just like airdrops being fair and that kind of thing. Another thing I wanted to mention before this video ends is the Telos snapshot is coming up. Now, it's 18 hours away, and what's happening is, let's say if there's different projects that are going to do airdrops on Telos, then um, they want everybody, to, they're going to do this new snapshot that different projects can utilize. And so if you just go ahead and um, essentially all you have to do is vote on the TELUS network if you have an account and um, you go ahead and vote then you can do that you can use stuff like the gray mass wallet like the gray mass voter 
and there's other wallets out there for Telos um, that you can get in there and um, you can use scatter you know as well to kind of link to it to protect your keys and those kind of things but all you have to do is vote or you have to move some tokens to another account um, and then basically you would be included in that snapshot I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that so anyway what do you guys think about these airdrops and the KYC compliance or um, data mining is is what I feel like it is and do you trust these different random crypto projects with your information follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos YouTube Instagram steam it Twitter see you guys later